Hello everybody. In this video session, I am going to talk about only LED interfacing and the different methods how we can program. As you are aware, we discussed about the, the basic hardware. That means we should have a microcontroller and pin number 18 and 19 we are going to connect to the crystal oscillator and pin number 20 we are going to provide ground and we have to provide VCC at pin number 40 that means it's a 5 volt and also pin number 31 we should connect to a VCC okay and again a 5 volt and we assume that I am going to connect a LED to a resistor which goes to pin number 1 okay, this means there is a 5 volt and these calculations we have discussed many times uh, let us just see here uh, consider as a 220 ohms and we should provide a reset circuit So it's a 5 volt and over here is a ground and this goes to pin number 9. Okay, this is a very minimum uh, setup which we need in terms of you know hardware. The concept. See here now the LED is connected, the method called syncing. That means if you give from microcontroller, that means microcontrollers pin number 1, if it's going to be 0. LED is going to be on. If microcontroller, you know, the pin number 1 this is a pin number and this is a data. And if it is going to be 1, the LED is going to be off. And if you refer to the data sheet of microcontroller, you will find pin number 1 to pin number 8. Okay, pin number 1 to 8 it is referred as a port 1. Okay, so by default, by default, the microcontroller pins are configured as a output pin. Okay, so it is ready to send the data from the microcontroller to the outside world. And we have connected your LED so that whatever data we pass on that is going to be you know reflected on the LED. Now it has to be done as a program. First thing is about the port. You can see here there is total 8 bits are there in every port of our 8051. That's why 4 ports starting with port 0, 1, 2, 3. 4 ports each has 8 bits. So we will have total 32 input and output lines. Okay, now when you feed here, like the pin 1 is going to be bit 0 and it goes on and this is your bit 7 of, a, of port 1. Okay, now if you want to make this particular pin as a 0 or 1, so you have to only focus on this area. And these are is actually we don't need to focus because we don't connect any hardware or any other uh, you know peripherals in the in those pins. We connect only to bit zero. So having these values, it can be either one or zero. Okay, it's up to the user. It can be one or zero. But we must know this particular pin. That means the bit zero alone must be. 0 or 1 based on our interest but this can be considered as you wish but generally what people they used to do is you know uh, like they always consider all 7 bits as always 0 and 8th bit of our interest that means bit 0 is going to be 0 which means LED on and again all 7 bits as a 0 and a bit 0 as a 1 that means LED off 
okay so this is our logic for our implementing the c program or even assembly language program whatever you can you know figure out that's going to be a logic now let us see how to you know build the c program for this as we learn we should have the header file as include register 51.h okay this is the basic header file which is going to include all the registers which is available in our 8051 and please note we already selected during our you know uh, project creation uh, atmel 89c51 this is the controller which we have chosen okay so it is going to choose the registers and the sfrs defined in this header file then we are saying here now void main void in a bracket and we are going to prepare ourselves to write a program i am going to explain as a two concepts okay the first one is about writing a infinite loop always true while one means it is called as a infinite loop okay since the embedded system must put in a continuous operation we are writing as a infinite loop and if you look at i just say here now port 1 equals equals 0 x 0 0 which means led is on okay and uh, what is the meaning of this as i already told you the these values will be sent to the port and to be specific the bit 0 here indicates the led is on okay and after making led on we should give a delay function which i will explain you maybe in a couple of minutes from now okay so delay of 1000 again i say now port 1 equals 0x01 it means seven zeros followed by a one this indicates led is off okay now first we have to provide a on time or delay and next we have to provide a off time delay okay and then i put a looping that means the code goes again back to here and again there will be you know while one that means is always true and the loop goes on again and again and this is our end of main program now as we learned the memory is limited in our 8051 microcontroller so we have to write efficient code so what we can do is just see the next one which i am going to explain i am going to use the same concept that means the, uh, the starting and all same i am going to use means ash include register 51.h this remains same and i say here now void main void this also remains same and then what i do is the infinite loop concept remains same here i am just going to bring in a small change i say here port 1 equals port 1 xr with 0x01 okay and then i say a delay and i close a loop here now what happens here first thing is just imagine the value of port 1 initially when we start and we also learned all port values are set to ones okay which you, we have learned before so all port one values are ones okay so when the program comes to this stage okay so the port one values are given as like this and we take 0x01 as a constant and we perform xr operation that means one with xr with one is going to be a zero and all other values is going to be one okay 
then we go for a delay we go for a delay and the looping starts again from here because it's an infinite loop then after we perform the statement this value is assigned assigned to a port 1 now what we do when the looping statement comes again next time so we have here port 1 value is modified as a fe this is called as a fe okay now we are taking again 0x01 and we are xring with the current value of port 1 so this is 0x01 and we are xring now now you can notice that 0 with 1 is going to be 1 and all other values it remains 1 okay so what happens now the value which is going to be ff this value is going to be assigned to port 1 and again we are giving a delay and it goes on into infinite looping okay so when you observe that the last bit it starts with first 1 then it goes to 0 then again it comes as a 1 and if you if you perform the same xr operation once again you will notice that all values is going to be 1 except the last one that means again it changes to 0 so we are getting as a 1 then we are changing to 0 then again 1 again 0 and if you do this operation in, you know in a looping it is going to be infinite that means it's called zeros and ones we say it as a toggle or toggling now you can see that we avoided two statements that means these two statements we avoided which is not given so we are saving this much amount of you know code memory so whenever you write a C program for embedded systems is not only you are going to focus on the variable declaration even you have to focus on the the code which you write the code must be uh, you know uh, efficient code and we have a delay here and in fact even we can write in a short form by the way the, uh, the compiler will already uh, you know use the best assembly language code is, which is equivalent to that XR operation but still when I write a final code here I can say port 1 XR equals 0x01 is a short form of writing this particular statement okay so once you write this code and then if you compile with having a delay function you will end up with a simple program for toggling a LED. Now, what is the you know, purpose of writing a delay program? You can see here, I, I make a function prototype. I say maybe like void delay int. Okay? And I define a function void delay int x int x okay and i just say here while x is greater than 0 i write here x minus minus okay and then i just return back if you look at in this program we pass the value of x as about 1000 so the 1000 is decremented by 1 1 1 until it comes 0 and you may be aware that the microcontroller works in a very high speed of course compared to the computers it's very slow but compared to the human being it's a very high speed this thousand counting will be done with the 12 cycles that means if you are connecting a crystal of uh, 12 megahertz okay so you can see 1 by 12 microsecond is needed for counting a number so that the thousand will be count with the no matter of time so what we have to do is we can either increase the count either we can decrease the count as I mentioned earlier or we can write a nested loop see the nested looping is done with the simple uh, you know having a while loop and a for loop or even you can use a while loop here and the second loop is just counts a number from 0 to 100 and you can see at the end we have a semicolon here it counts from 0 to 100 and then it decrements the value of x by 1 so 1000 times of 100 will be counted which will produce a significant amount of delay ok so hope you understand in this video is about how to interface a LED and how to write a code for controlling 
एलईडी ठगली